This is a column by Stephen Happel titled Learn a Voice for Learning Spaces magazine. We had been busy with a student-led project in one of our SEK schools in Spain. Students, they were late primary age, had been tasked with a redesign of one of their learning spaces to a tight budget. The hard work was over and the redevelopment was in progress. I was chatting to the delighted children and one of them said to me, You know, I've been in seven schools so far in my life, but this is the first time anyone has asked me how it could be better. And then he leaned in close and added in a quiet voice, But I've always known. Their project was a great success. What was already an excellent space had become yet more effective. With the learner's voice at the heart of the changes, the children had agency and engagement. However, it is not as simple as just asking children for their opinions. They researched and then video linked to other children around the world who had radical ideas to show and share from their own schools. Seeing children across two continents critiquing their learning spaces was a joy. This is far more than the usual strategy of running finished ideas past the schools council or a small focus group. It was learner-led. When you surprise children with trust and a research role, they astonish you right back with the quality of their suggestions, solutions and engagement every time and they have new ways to share and exchange. In our Brain Food project, the girls leading the research went beyond video linking and had their own dedicated Brain Food YouTube channel as they became minor global, influ gl sorry, minor global influencers. Children have new solutions we can learn from. I visited a secondary school last year post pandemic. On a roll of 900, over 100 children arrived daily, registered, but then simply refused to go into classes. They weren't disruptive and they were doing appropriate work in the social areas, but they said loud and clear, we are not going to be put back into boxes. This all needs to be done differently. In England, persistent absence, missing more than 10% of lessons, more than doubled from 8% of primary and 13.7% of secondary children pre-COVID to 17% and 28% respectively in 2022-23. to 23. If we don't properly and fully involve our students' voices in improving things, they will build the future of learning without us, and they've started. And the, the contact information, uh, Professor Stephen Heppel, Felipe Segovia Chair in Learning Innovation at Universidad Camilo José Sila, Madrid. Heppel.net, H-E-P-P-E-L-L.net, at Stephen Heppel on uh, Twitter or X.